let's talk about why certain criminal convictions matter a little bit more in custody court. Hi, I'm Alicia Kinchlow, the attorney and founder behind Kinchlow Law, a family law and estate planning practice based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. When a court is deciding how and whether to award custody, they're going to look at 16 factors. And one of those factors is going to be the criminal convictions of both the parties. And they're going to look at whether or not you've either been found guilty or pled guilty to certain offenses. Section 5329 of the Pennsylvania statute, custody statutes includes a list of enumerated offenses that the court cares just a little bit more about. Some of those offenses are extremely obvious, like homicide, rape, and decent assault. Those are all things we can kind of expect and understand why they may be in the custody statutes. There are some other things like endangering the welfare of a child. Again, makes sense. Then there's some other stuff like contempt of an order. So not following an order can also be something that a court looks at. Because again, if they're drafting an order for you to follow and you have a history of not following an order, that is an important factor for them to consider. Now, when they have, when there is one of these enumerated offenses in either the background of the mother or the father or some other party, they're going to look at whether or not that individual poses a risk of harm to the child. And it's not going to just be physical risk of harm, but also an emotional risk of harm. One of the ways they may look at to determine whether or not there is a risk of harm is to do or order some type of assessment or evaluation. So they can order a mental health assessment where a professional can examine the party and give an idea or an opinion as to either whether that person poses a risk or what that person should do um, or even some guidelines as to what maybe the custody order should be to protect the best interest of the child. It's important to note that when you move between jurisdictions, so outside of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the way that a crime may be listed or, or the terminology of it can be different from state to state. So it's important to kind of understand and pull in the spirit of what these the enumerated statutes are and understand that it may be called something just a little bit different in a different state, but that does not mean that it's not actually an enumerated offense in Pennsylvania for the purpose of the custody statute. So it's very important to understand these things. Also know that just because you have a conviction under the enumerated offenses does not mean that you have no custody rights to your child. This is one factor that the court has to consider. And just from my experience, the court also looks at how long ago these crimes have happened, whether or not there's been repeated offenses, um, whether or not there's been rehabilitation, whether or not the offenses you know occurred before or after you've had children. So it's important to understand that just because you have enumerated offenses in your past does not mean you cannot have custody of your child or even significant custody of your child. So you must speak to an attorney licensed in your jurisdiction about the facts specific to your case. Be open and honest with them about the convictions or times that you play guilty to offenses, whether you think they're important or not. Tell them about similar convictions of people who are in your household or people you may believe may be in the other party's household as well so they can do their due diligence. As always, these videos are not legal advice. They are for informational purposes only. You should always speak with an attorney licensed in your jurisdiction, again, about the facts specific to your case. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe um, to get more videos like these regarding custody, support, estate planning, and divorce. And until next time, take care.